Tinnitus, elect in the 10th National Assembly, has vowed to liberate the electorate at 2022 and ensure that everyone is carried along in Nigeria's democracy for maximum representation. They made this known on Tuesday at the official ceremony of certificate of return for the just concluded presidential and national assembly election held on the 25th day of February 2023 at the National Coalition Center in Abuja. The senators say the people's mandate and trust cannot be taken for granted, hence, they will work responsibly to meet the needs and aspirations of the masses. I'm big on the diaspora bill. I'm big on it because the diasporans have been sustaining our economy. They bring so many billions of dollars into the country annually, and it is that money that sustains us. So if there are such very critical stakeholders in this country, then they need to have the ability or the opportunity to, to say and to vote for who they, to lead the country. So at least the national election, let them be able to vote as is done in most other democracies. But there are people who are trapped here by reason of their economic situation. The state must protect those people. I mean, our laws must reflect the value, the core values of our people, not the core values of the elite. So well, so well in the education sector, in sports, in uh, roads, in construction generally, in, in other reform, other areas. And, uh, you know, the big factor affected us because of the proximity to Anambra State, I'm sure you know. You know, many uh, Southeasterners live in Delta State, especially uh, Delta North and, and Central. But I am sure that uh, we will come out at the next election stronger. We will win the governorship election. We will win most of the House of Assembly elections. 98 senators received their certificate of return from the electoral umpire, as others whose election was cancelled will receive theirs pending the outcome of the rerun. Vincent Okushi, QTV News, Abuja. Yeah,